So this is a later in the day vlog. We got a bunch of stuff going on tonight, some projects, and we're smoking some salmon for dinner. Yeah. And there's Gio over there. So, Briley, come tell us about your project. So, fun. Okay. So the fourth graders are going to be doing um, a history report for the school. And I decided to do haunted history on Utah. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a haunted house and we're gonna make it out of like um, popsicle sticks and cardboard. And then we're gonna write the haunted stories about the places and we're gonna do the history on the places too. So it's gonna be really fun. Because we have lots of connections for haunted places in Ogden, so it makes it easy for her to do a report on. So, yeah, that's what they are doing tonight. And as for me, I'm working on the Humvee. So, So these Humvee steering wheels, compared to normal steering wheels, they feel super skinny, so there's like nothing to grab onto. So until I can afford to upgrade the steering wheel, which will be a little while, I've been wrapping it in paracord, which takes a really long time. And I got two thirds of it done, and then I ran out of black paracord. So I'm gonna have to wait till maybe tomorrow to go get some more of that. But we got a rear view mirror put on. I'm working on, some kind of mount to put a tablet there for like to run the Bluetooth radio off of and like GPS stuff. But I haven't found a real good way to mount a tablet in a vehicle. So I'm looking, working with some companies that might donate some kind of a mount. And I got the CB radio in here that my buddy James donated for the project. And we got the antenna. I had to tie it down kind of funky because it doesn't fit in the garage if I don't have it tied at an angle. So yeah, we got the CB installed, but I don't have a power inverter, not inverter, a down stepper to convert it from a 24 volt system to a 12 volt system so I can run all the lights and the radios and stuff like that. So. I need to get one of those and figure out how to hook it up because that's kind of a mystery to me. But I've got a Bluetooth speaker bar right there to use as a radio. We now have both interior dome, dome lights, I guess it would be. They run off like a remote control button, which is really cool. We even got the baby some headphones so it's not so loud on him, but yeah, for now, for charging my phone, I have to use a portable battery, one of these power banks to charge my phone off of when I'm out and about. But yeah, that is the progress so far. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do on this tonight, but I don't know, maybe we'll work on a mount for the 50 cal. There is a car show coming up in South Ogden in about a week, maybe next weekend, might be next weekend that... They're, I'm not sure what the charity is for, but everybody brings a bunch of different kinds of trucks and they've asked us to bring the Humvee so kids can climb in it and check it out. And so, yeah, I want to get it up and going so it's got all the cool stuff ready for that. So, yeah, I've got today off and tomorrow off. Well, I kind of count tomorrow as half a day off because I have Grayson during the day while Trish is at work and I can't really get much done with him. So... I'm going to try and do as much as I can tonight while Trish is home and then maybe a little bit more tomorrow. And yeah, that's the progress so far. So I'm trying to get as much stuff done tonight while I don't have the baby. And I figured I would figure out the mount for the 50 cal. It's got a much bigger base than where I'm able to mount it. And it's not actually, <laughs> I can't really mount it where Humvees traditionally have a machine gun because we've got the soft top roof on it. And they usually have a big swivel turret and 
those are like 600 bucks and a whole lot of work so we're just gonna mount it on the back so the problem with mounting this machine gun mount in the garage is me remembering that it won't fit under the garage door opening yeah if the garage door came all the way up instead of leaving a little bit down it might fit so it might be worth me figuring out how to do that with the garage door that's not exactly in my knowledge base so maybe Skylar my brother can come <laughs> take a look at it I don't know maybe I'll have to put a sticky note on my windshield that says don't drive in the garage with the machine gun mount on because it will beat the crap out of it I don't know maybe something along those lines maybe I'll shorten it I don't know <laughs> measure these bolts when I went around to Home Depot and they're about five inches longer than what I actually need. So we might swap them out eventually, but for now, they'll do. Well guys, the 50 cal mount doesn't fit in and out of the garage by about one inch. So if we take, if we take the top part of this mount off about right here, then it fits. So we'll just leave that hooked onto the 50 cal. And yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. Day two. Who says that vlogs need to be all filmed in one day? Not me, because there's no rules to vlogging. Uh, Briley is doing a presentation on Haunted Utah for her school, and so we came down to the Union Station, and they are doing a World War II whole, like whole, the whole upstairs has got stuff for it. So I didn't even know they were doing this, we just happened to come across it, so I'm kind of stoked because I'm a little bit of a World War II history buff, so this is pretty cool to me. Check out this mirror. Fun fact, for our first zombie prom, this is the room that we booked for it, and we had such a big, I guess, RSVP that we ended up having to upgrade to a bigger room the day before zombie prom. This was going to be the room that we were going to do it in. We couldn't have, we couldn't have fit zombie prom in this room, so. But that's a good thing, so. You see any ghosts yet? No? Miles is scared of ghosts, so. I'm trying not to mention it too much. Soldiers who are wounded, who knows what these dresses have experienced. They have stories to tell. Look at that, isn't that just amazing? Oh, the quality, too, of those. Oh, it's just amazing. So this hallway is one of the places that we get this overwhelming feeling and Trish feels it in this bathroom specifically <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> it's so creepy no not here so this is the only place in the whole Union Station that I feel weird in I get really this claustrophobic feeling in this hallway I don't really get scared of things but I I feel like a tenseness in this hallway. No, so. behind the stage at the Browning Theater, 
it, I feel, I don't know, something. It's weird. Behind the stage. And yeah. I spent a lot of time back there, so. I've even been down in the basement of this place, which is really creepy, but I don't feel anything like I feel in this hallway, so. So last night, when I went out to drive the Humvee around, I heard this crunching noise behind it. And then I remembered that I had a kitchen chair that I was using to climb up into the bed of the Humvee. Oops. I also may or may not have accidentally run over a half a case of water bottles. Anyway guys, that is the vlog for the last two days. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe Trish isn't done with the vlogs, I don't know. <laughs> said, Wait, I'm not done! <laughs> I was... no, I they haven't started their haunted house for the project yet, but hopefully in the next hour something will happen. I had to... I haven't eaten today. I have to eat. Can I eat? Yes, you can eat. Okay. But yeah, that's a vlog for the last two days. And maybe we'll film them doing some of that tonight. I don't know. But we will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. And leave us a comment because we're bored and we just need somebody to talk to. <laughs> okay, bye, Miles. Oh, dude.